Okay. And this time around, we're going to be talking about food sustainability, health, and uh, a bit of you know traceability, just in case you don't understand what it is. Now, the WHO, and I'm just going to give you some facts here, identified that 2.2 million, or about 2.2 million people have died uh, from diarrheal diseases, and this is stemming from contaminated food and water. And when you look at the SDGs goals 6 and 2, now 2 says zero hunger, and a part of it is to promote sustainable agriculture. Now, goal 6 also talks about sustainable management of water and sanitation. And so it ties into the conversation we're going to be having today about food health and of course about traceability as well. In the studios I have Sakodi Osei. He is uh, the president of the Ghana Root Crop and Tubers Exporters Union. Good morning. Thank you so much. And it's good to have you um, on the show today. First of all, I want to know what we call it what grow to. Yeah. So Ghana Root Crop and Tubers Exporters Union. What does it focus on? Um, Thank you. Ghana Root Crops and Tubers Exporters Union was established in 2001 okay. as the umbrella body for four YAM exporters associations, mm. namely Ghana Assorted Foodstuff Exporters Association, okay. um, Ghana YAM Producers and Exporters Association, uh, Sea Freight YAM Producers and Exporters Association, and also Konkumba YAM Producers and Exporters Association. Mm. And together, these four associations account for about 90% of yam exported from, from Ghana. Okay. Um, our core function is to advocate on behalf of these, uh, f these four associations mm -hmm. and their member companies, yeah. and also the farmers and large growers we work with. Our vision is to be the lead export earner in the non-traditional export sector. Okay. And our mission is to strengthen our collaboration with key institutions like the Ministry of Trade, mm. Ghana Export Promotion Authority, uh, Ghana Standards Authority, Ministry of Food and Agriculture, Plants Protection and Regulatory Services, yeah. Division of Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Um, since 2004, we've been collaborating with the Ministry of Trade in the running of the National Yam Parkhouse in Tema. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the facility is to ensure that yam exporters from Ghana comply with international standards. standards. Okay. Yeah. Um, that is one of the areas we, uh, we collaborate in. We also collaborate with, currently collaborating with the Ghana Export Promotion Authority. Okay. And the YAM Development Council. Mm. Um, in the development of new YAM seedlings. Okay. For distribution to our farmers and our growers. Mm. This is to ensure uh, quality and long shelf life for Yam that is exported. Okay. So in a snapshot, this is what grew This to you. is what you do. What you All right, do. and I, I believe that, like you mentioned, you're focusing on global food safety, yes. uh, which, you know, there have been increasing concerns about that for a while. Why yes. do you think that's been the reason? Um, again, it's because of standards being adhered to. Okay. Uh, farmers are not uh, educated, skilled in, you know, good agronomic practices. Mm. And so you know, they don't follow laid down procedures and systems. And therefore, you have chemical residues, you know, they use the wrong fertilizers, etc. Mm -hmm. So they need to be trained. Okay. In order to, you know. And that's what Grow2 focuses on. Yes, Grow2 focuses on training its farmers, you know, and outgrowers mm. into, into adopting the, the best uh, okay. agricultural you know, okay. practices, you, yes. You've been in existence since 2001. And one. So yes. far, what are some of the successes you've talked? No, so currently, um, currently we are, as I said, mm -hmm. we are working with the Ghana Export Promotion Authority yeah. and uh, the Yam Development Council in developing new, new yams, clean yam seedlings. Okay. Um, we're having problems with uh, uh, long shelf life mm -hmm. of the product, mm -hmm. mainly because Farmers don't apply the right procedures. They don't arrive, uh, apply the right fertilizers, etc. Yeah. And so, um, developing in developing the new yam seeds, we are hoping, we know, yeah. and we are not hoping. We know mm -hmm. that definitely is going to improve the quality and uh, the shelf life of uh, of the product. Let's put this vis-a-vis -vis the international market. Mm -hmm. um, I know that all that we're doing is to ensure that we are also able to meet the standards of the international market mm -hmm. as well. Is it far-fetched? Is it no, it isn't. No, it isn't. It isn't. Okay. Already, already we are on the market. Yeah. Currently, um, our, export, our member companies export mainly to the corner shops okay. in, in Europe 
and uh, North America. Okay. And so we have a foot in the market. What we are looking at, what we are looking at doing, is to advance further into the mainstream supermarkets, mm. where the market is bigger. You are not just looking at African or ethnic okay. uh, Africans. You are looking at you know mainstream Europeans and other you know um, you know communities. Mm -hmm. Um, and you need traceability. Okay, which is you need you need certification basically mm. to be able to penetrate into into that part of the market, which okay. is huge. Okay, you know so basically traceability is uh, an information system which will enable you to trace the history of the product from the point of origin, which is the farm, to the point of consumption, which is the market. Okay. So for root crops, for example specifically yam. Yeah. You are looking at collating and recording information about the farmer, mm. about the location of that farm, and then the inputs applied during you know, the, the cultivation of, of the product. You are, you are looking at the identity of the transporters, the middle people who mm. purchase from, from the farm. You are also looking at the identity of the exporter. Okay. And uh, the, the location of the pack house where that exporter, you know, packs the consignment. Mm. You're looking at the identity of the consignee. Okay. That is the importer somewhere in Europe or North America, mm. you know. So it's about collating all this information and aggregating it and putting into what we call a quick response code. Right. That's a technical name for it. Mm. So that uh, by using a scanning device on the carton of yam, Quickly, all that information can be collated. Oh. Yes. And so you will identify where there's, a, uh, there's an issue, a health issue. Yeah. You can quickly identify the source of the product. And then steps can be taken to, you know, So let's say there's a disease the outbreak. You can easily identify exactly. the source. Exactly. From the wow. carton of yam. Yes. There's a, there will be a sticker with a barcode. Okay. Which, is, which I just said, the quick response code. Yeah. Um, which, by, just by mere scanning... Mm -hmm with a device, you'll be able to know the information, have all the information about the product. And so there'll be no need for uh, destroying an entire consignment hmm. of a product merely because there's a problem. Okay. You'll be able to identify the source of the problem and then it will be, it will be, it will be handled. Okay. We, we hear of uh, the poultry industry where millions of birds are slaughtered because of bird flu, yeah. salmonella, yeah. etc. Yeah. So with traceability, you can isolate a particular batch of product, mm. and then that, that, that problem can be resolved. Okay. And it, is a, it, is a, it, is an, it, it helps you to enter the mainstream supermarket, because then your product can be trusted. Yeah. It is certified that when there's a problem, it, is. Can be, it can be resolved. Okay. So currently, we have a manual traceability system in place. Mm thanks to the PPRSD, the Ministry of uh, Food and Agriculture. But we need to move a step further to, to make it digital and mm -hmm. have the quick uh, response code. And how do you do that? Are you so, asking yes, so, yes. so we have dialogued with, with the PPRSD, Ministry of Food and Agriculture, and the main issue is finance and logistics. Okay. Yes. So, so we are pleading, you know, that uh, the powers that be, mm. you know, expedite Okay. You know, expedite action and then support the system. It's going to open doors for the entire value chain, yeah. right from the farmer to to the to the person who purchases for yeah. the farm and then yeah. sells on to the sells on to the exporter. Okay. And then in general to the consumers. To, to the, no, to the yes, to the consumers as well because they can trust the product. Exactly. You know, and uh, yes, foreign exchange. But you've been, you've been in talks. I mean, you are working currently with the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, with Ministry of Trade as well. Have they yes. not been able to support in that aspect? No, they have, they have done fantastically well okay. up to this point. Like I, told, like yeah. I said, there's a, we have a manual traceability system in place. Okay. Before, you, before you, for example, before an exporter mm -hmm. exports, you need to have some information on the, on the package. Yeah. So, for example, you need to have the identity of the, cons of the consignee mm. and their address okay. and the necessary information. You need, okay. the, you need to have the identity of the exporter. Mm. And then all pack houses where yam is packed for export has been mapped 
okay. by GPS. Yes, PPRSE has done that. You know, and um, and so that 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 pack house can be located. So that information, that code, and and it's encoded. So that code is also displayed on the I see. on the carton. Oh, so okay. yes, so there's some manual uh, system in place. So we will have to move a step further to digitalize it, Definitely. digitalize it to Definitely. get a quick response. All right. Good. All right. Yes. So powers that be need to step in and help move this to the next step. That's from the president of the Ghana Root Crop and Tubers Exporters Union, Sarkodie Ose. And if people want to get in touch, if they want to support, how do they do that? So, um, so I, I'll leave um, the the PPRSD. Yeah. PPRSD okay. is the main institution okay. uh, mandated to roll out the system. And okay. so, yes, if there's any support that has to go somewhere, that is where in the Ministry of Finance. Definitely. Yes. Okay. And also um, the Ministry of Trade. Um, and export promotion authority. All right. Yes. Well, I, I hope that you are willing to support. Please do this for us. I mean, for all of us and also for uh, the export industry as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Mr. Sarkodie Ose is the president. And you so wanted you to say me, something, yes. yeah. Permit me, I'd like to um, uh, say thank you to the business mm. and advocacy, advocacy challenge, sorry. Okay. Uh, Busak and also Danida. They've supported this, uh, this entire advocacy awesome. uh, program. Okay, all right. Thank Lovely. you so much.